All right, everybody, welcome back to another X Vault Gaming video. X Vault here, and today I do want to go over a little rumor, which is more than likely going to be true because it's a little overdue. <laughs> I'm talking about, just like the thumbnail suggests, the next Sony State of Play. So that should be happening next week. So they're going to have some announcements. We'll bullet point this a little bit. We'll dive into it a little bit as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so back with the latest rumor for the next Sony State of Play coming next week. This should be arriving on the 19th, according to Via Games Radar's James Jarvis. Said there's supposed to be rumors suggesting that the next PlayStation State of Play event will take place on Thursday, August 19th. According to the rumors, Sony was believed to be announcing the State of Play on August 10th, though that did not obviously happen. However, just because the state of play wasn't announced when expected doesn't mean that August 19th isn't still the date of the next event. So what will be at the event? What will be gone over? So according to Jarvis, he predicts that the event will include the official announcement of Horizon Forbidden West, the delay, uh, which was reported on by the industry insiders, but has yet to be confirmed by Sony, along with some fresh gameplay footage. He also believes that the event will include a new look at Kina, Bridge of Spirits, an update on Gran Turismo 7, and a new, quote, surprise announcement. So he did mention this via Twitter as well. That's where most of this was going on. Um, so I just kind of want to break down my thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, we are overdue for another state of play. Um, we were hoping to have one that kind of hit the ball out of the park, something that was a little more closer representative uh, or representing to that of the Xbox E3 conference, the latest state of play that we did have was anything but. <laughs> so we were hoping that we'd have something more grandiose at this point. Um, so kind of kind of shocked it hasn't been the case. But with that being said, we should have something next week. They're pretty confident about it. I think that pretty much lines up. I think September would be much too late. So this would be the last week. Uh, before most kids, if not the week of, where most kids and students and everybody and above will be going back to school for the most part, uh, as well as everything kind of getting back into motion and all that. So what better time to get some buzzworthy news and a nice event right before the kids and teenagers are going back to school, kind of mentioning what was announced by Sony themselves. So this has got to be Something a little bit, a little bit more of a zinger. I don't, you know, with with him bullet pointing, you know, Horizon's delay. That's not a good thing. But they're going to show more off there, which could be a good thing. Um, and again, Kina, an extended look at that. That's not going to hurt. But it's not anything that's going to make us go, "Wow, I'm very excited for this game." This is on my top um, hype list right now for what I want to play next this year. So I'm very excited. However, they're bringing up some more gameplay. We're getting super close to October, and this game will be out. So nothing too crazy new there. Um, we're going to get an update on Gran Turismo. So that's going to fill the void for those that are huge Gran Turismo fans. Again, I love the way Gran Turismo looks. I love what it represents, how it does everything about it. Um, however, I would be more of a Forza fan, gameplay-wise, if I was being honest, as opposed to an actual simulation for the most part, where Forza is more of the arcadey type of stuff and still looks phenomenal, right? So that, that'll fill in the void for them as well. But we, we do have to have something here. And the one I want to highlight real quick is the new, quote, surprise announcement. This has got to be something big. And when I mean something big, we need to hear about something absolutely brand new or something that we have not seen before. So I've got a couple options here. One of those options being an update, a snippet, a teaser of some sort of Spider-Man 2, an official sequel to the original Spider-Man that was released a few years ago now. Um, I think it would be great to ride the coattails of Miles Morales' latest adventure and at least give us a little something to look forward to. And Spider-Man is just that trend-worthy, buzz-worthy type of game and character in general that gets everybody talking and everybody would, would lose their mind, especially if we saw some snippets of Venom being introduced or even Norman Osborn as the Green Goblin. So 
I really, really, really hope we get something there. And if it is something like that, it's not too light of a teaser where you just see Miles and Peter Parker swinging around together real quick. We've kind of seen that in Miles Morales, so we need something of significance. However, maybe they've really come a long ways with some of the graphics and the ray tracing and just the way the city looks or wherever this might be taking place, right? So um, that is my more hopeful one. The one that I'm honestly leaning towards what this will be for the new surprise announcement is the long awaited, at least for most of us, for the PlayStation side of things is the multiplayer portion of The Last of Us Part Two. So this was said to be by Neil Druckmann, right? Stating that this would be in fact a new game on its own. It ended up being too grandiose. It ended up being too big. They had a bigger vision for it and they were very excited to work on it and bring it to life. So even obviously that won't be happening this year as far as a release, but if we got something to look at, something to look forward to in regards to the multiplayer section for The Last of Us universe, I really did enjoy myself with the first Last of Us's multiplayer. I played a lot of that with me and the boys um, back in the day, and uh, I say back in the day now because it has been quite a few years already, but really really good i dived back into or i dove back into it when the remaster for the last of us happened and that unfortunately got my butt owned because those that really enjoyed it did not stop playing it <laughs> and they knew the ins and outs of the maps the new maps the gameplay mechanics and everything like that so uh, it wasn't a good time for me rejoining that at a much later date but when it was new and fresh and i was very um, used to the gameplay and everything like that was a lot of fun. So I think this will be really great. I, I'm really leaning towards that this will be the Last of Us multiplayer announcement, some sort of announcement, some sort of a gameplay reveal of what that might look like. So uh, that's that's the two off the top of my head where I think, not really top of my head, I've been thinking about it, but what I really think will happen, either Spider-Man, which is very iffy, but more than likely a multiplayer reveal for The Last of Us 2 universe or whatever you want to call that. Um, now, it could be completely something brand new. It could even be a brand new IP. Or, here's my third option, and this is probably more left field than Spider-Man. But, um, I'm going to kind of split it in half. It's like a 50-50 on this one. But... The one that's more far-fetched, I'm hoping to get a Resistance reboot, remaster, sequel, whatever the case is. I would really like it if they allowed Insomniac to revisit this loved, beloved franchise because I'm not the only one. I'm by far not the only one that adored this franchise. And the multiplayer in the campaign was also amazing in the first, second, and third one as well. They were all very solid. Um, so if it's a new sequel, fantastic. If it's a reboot, so to speak, even better. Whatever the case is, I hope it's true to form and it also includes some multiplayer in there as well, at least for most of our sakes, right? Um, and then the other, what I'm talking about, the Slash, is I feel like they want to do something with Sunset Overdrive, so maybe that'll just kind of be, hey, here's a surprise announcement. We've been working on it, working on an upgrade. This is going to be a PS5, PS4 upgrade and we're bringing it over and it'll be happening dropping this November. Sorry for the delay of Horizon Forbidden West, but here's this in the meantime. Thank you so much for waiting, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know Horizon Forbidden West is Gorilla, not Insomniac, but this is just something from Insomniac that I think they could do. So that is also an option. Um, a lot more believable than us revisiting, you know, Resistance, even though the community and the Insomniac community is very vocal about please bringing that back to the platform. Um, you know, if we can get things like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and, yes, Activision and bringing those rights back, at least, to, you know, making it a third party adventure. Um I think this can be done. Sony owns Insomniac. Sony has Sucker Punch. We have Naughty Dog. We can make things happen. We have what, Blue Point now. We don't officially, you know, have anything going on there uh, that they might be working on. So who knows for sure. I keep hearing rumblings that uh, they have another Souls-like game in the works. It's not Bloodborne or Demon Souls or anything like that. So we'll see what comes of that. But uh, I really think this would be really cool to be one of the options I just chose, right? Spider-Man 2, 
Last of Us multiplayer reveal, Sunset Overdrive, and possibly a Resistance reboot or remaster or sequel. So those are my things there. And just to briefly touch on is the Horizon Forbidden West. If you've been following my channel, if you've been following the X Vault Gaming community and my content, this is by far the first time I have said this very exact thing. I said from the get-go, I do not see this game releasing this year just due to the pandemic and everything else happening. When we have a AAA game from Sony, they do not take this lightheartedly, right? Um, they don't take it lightly in general. They they put their all into it because it's a franchise. You're holding that PlayStation flag right there. If that AAA isn't knocking it out of the park as far as quality and everything else that encompasses a masterclass game, they're going to hold off on that. It's, it's very, very far and few between that we don't get a masterclass AAA title from Sony. So they want to really fine tune this thing. It's, it's a sequel to something that everybody loved playing that did get their hands on it. If you missed out on it, I do implore you to check that out. Uh, we had that as a free game. We had plenty of opportunities this year alone to even revisit the first Horizon, uh, you know, Zero Dawn. So I'm um, trying to remember all the names off the top of your head like that. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, so anyways, I totally understand if it's delayed just due to the pandemic. If the pandemic was not in effect, it was just a normal delay, I'd probably be a little irritated or anything like that but i fully expected this from the moment they announced it was going to be this year when they said that the, at the beginning of this year i said there's no way i don't care i don't care they showed gameplay it looked phenomenal um but i felt like there's some things that could probably be fine-tuned i just from what i've seen all my years of gaming i just knew that wasn't going to be up to snuff for them they want this to be a home run so uh, you know, it's not going to surprise me when they mention, I'm sorry, this is going to be delayed just a few more months. So I would say, honestly, we're looking at a March, late March, mid-April release for Horizon Forbidden West. So mark my words, that's kind of what I'm feeling there. If it was going to be done sooner, like a January, February or whatever, then great. But I really feel in my gut that we're going to get this about late March, mid-April, right around that time frame. So there should be plenty of things to play. I'm not hurting for anything to play. There's lots of options out there as well, folks, but that's it. I just wanted to bring that to light for everybody as well. So thank you. Thank you for hanging around. We'll wrap up the video. Let me know your comments, thoughts, and opinions below on what you think about the next day to play. Do you think it's going to happen next week for sure? And if you do, with the bullet pointed items I just mentioned today, do you think any of those will be true? What do you think that new surprise announcement's going to be? Sound off in the comments below. And also let me know your feelings about the Horizon Forbidden West. Did you see this coming like I did? Or were you expecting it and you're pretty bummed out? However, either way, I would certainly like to know as well. So drop that interaction in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to try and reach back out to everybody that I possibly can. It's a small enough channel still to where I can most likely <laughs> reach back to everybody. I'm really good about that. So thank you again. All your support. We're still at 110 subscribers. I know we can boost it up as normal. Um, I know I have all the faith in the community here to do that. We'll get to that 150 next goal and we'll move on from there as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we'll see everybody next time on the next X-Vault Gaming video. And until then, take care.